since ancient Greek days have uh, there's been a, a relationship between music and math and physics. There was a study in the area and what we found is that 50% of our students were dropping out from the high school. Two neighboring high schools serving largely Hispanic communities outside of Los Angeles are on a mission. Hawthorne Mathematics and Science Academy, as well as Lenox High School, are both charter schools. Charter schools are alternative public schools. <laughs> In some areas, like Los Angeles, these institutions are the driving force behind getting students from challenged environments into college. We are not a school of gifted. We're not a magnet school. Hawthorne is a math and science academy that's on, that, that only has one goal, and that's get every kid in the university. We have kids who come from different socioeconomic areas and it's irrelevant, your abilities, only if you are willing to work, willing to produce. The original intent of the charter, which I was involved in, was to give the, the opportunity for the children of Lenox to go to a, a high school that would give them opportunities that maybe they wouldn't find in any of the other high schools. The result? Most all of these students attend college. What can we create? How can we create a small nurturing small environment where students will come in and feel that family environment. In the same spirit, Lennox teachers are hoping to expand life lessons through science. Uh, the biggest thing I you know, want them to take away is that uh, soil is actually one of the most important, um, I guess, uh, items in the Earth's soil that we, uh, that we need to use to grow crops, uh, and that without identifying good soil, we won't be able to feed the expanding human population in the next several years. I mean, we really promote the familia here, and so the sense of belonging, the sense of bringing in the community and valuing all stakeholders in the process of education brought us a lot of success. The same can be said about Hawthorne High. I thought that it would overall challenge me and that it would provide a good, safe environment. It was close to my house, and I had heard that the teachers were well-suited for their jobs. You learn more when you have hands-on than just textbook. Mr. Flint's building water balloon launchers. He's building paper airplanes. He's building, you know, these race cars. And he's using all these different these different things, experiments, to get his ideas from. From race cars to skateboards and physics class, it's all about defining velocity. When does it go faster? When does it go slower? 468. So in instance, say maybe a car had a slow start, you can see on the graph it had a slow start, how can we improve it? Regardless of their students' backgrounds, income, and neighborhoods, these schools are seeing results in helping the community change in the process. For U.S. News and World Report, I'm Child Parikh.